Hey gang, welcome to another round of Basketball 10U. We got the Jags taking on the Bobcats and an early turnover will lead to a Jag basketball and Creek at the point. Founds his main man, DK drives in, right side, finger roll layup and in and count it. Jags are alive on the board. Eight minute periods as always, it's a running clock. Three will work to his left side. They've got the big gold uh, numbers and names on the back of their jersey. And this guy's name is Bailey, and he's working down the baseline. Cam guarding him. Errant pass, and it'll go out of bounds. Ricocheted off the Bobcat offense. It's a turnover. Correction. John Michael around the horn. Loses it on the ground. And JP couldn't get it. 49 has it and dishes the 22, and he'll walk the pace down across midcourt. Got a mouthpiece in, smart play. Works the right side, picked up there. Finds Caruso, and double dribble called. Inbound from AP. Creek will work quicker. Left side this time, crossover into the paint, he goes. Shots blocked from the back side, and a defensive board as the whistle blows. 2-0 lead for the Jags as Bailey gives it to 22. High dribble, Creek will meet him. Screen set, left side John Michael slides over. That zone defense, and then swiped away by Creek. Turnover into Cam's hands, and Four will take it back. Work quick, left side again. Pass over to AP on the baseline. He'll take the shot, short, and safely in the hands of the Maroon Bobcats. Not sure if they've got any kind of a Texas State affiliation but their colors match in a strip right there by John Michael, right side layup and hits in, and he's got two points, four in total for the Jags. Bounce pass over to 22 as he'll work the top. Left side crossover, looking for help. Floater to three and the whistle blows, call the travel. So not a lot of shot opportunities early in this one for the Bobcats. And a high pass floater, kind of a prayer. Cam was on the other end though. Works inside, gets the shot off, gets his own board, turns around, fires another one off the front of the rim and the Bobcats have it. And 49 will dish it back to the point and he'll wait for his team to get down court. Now he'll work to his left side. Turned back around by John Michael, nearly stripped, but he's got a lane to the basket. Shot is up and a kiss off the glass. The Bobcats are on the board. Bobcats showing they can play some offense as well, and a travel there by JP. 4-10 in the first, 22, races left. John Michael gets the hands up, makes him pass it back out, and Creek treating him dirty on the far side, and John Michael stepped in front of the pass. Here he comes down court, 22 trying to get him and fouls him, shot won't go, so John Michael will go to the line, we'll have the first free throws of the day. So 36 will take his shots here, first one on its way, and nicely found on the back edge of the rim. Shot number two comes as the Bobcats make a substitution. John Michael squares up, two-handed shot, uses the backboard and rattles both of them in, and the score, 6-2. Any team that can be clutch from the foul line will bode well. Hot pass over to 24. Lost it for a minute. John Michael playing a good brand of defense into Creek's arms. And he'll take it. He's got JP if he wants him, he does. On the right side, finger roll, not enough. Swatted out by the Bobcats. And I think the ball was on the ground and it's gonna stay on this end, I think as it turned out, off of the Jags. And so a fresh five for the, Bob, uh, the Jaguars, rather. And they bring everybody off the bench in. And 22 will work to his left side. Beckham slides over to try to pick him up. Spin move there around the side. Shot high off the glass, too high. Offensive board and tied up. Beckham's got the jump ball. So Beckham inbounds to Braden. Back to Beckham. Works to his right side, 10. Into the paint, shot goes up and rattled out. It was a good looking effort and then Drake will be called for a travel up and down. 6-2 lead, 1.23 to go. 22, square into the paint, nobody picked him up. 
uncontested, and he's got a layup. And they climb back within two. Inbound, back and forth. Beckham hits the gas again into the paint. Looking for help now. Bounce pass over to nine. And Ryland works his way underneath. Hot pass out to Braden. Braden, a couple bounces in the corner. Finds Beckham. Beckham wheels back around to the center. Beckham's going to drive in. Found a lane. Shoots too hot. Gets his own board. Back up with it again. Misses the left side. And a travel called by 24. It'll stay on this end. And Jag's still in business. So Beckham. Bounce pass over to Braden. Braden thought about the shoot, the shot. Head fakes. Keeps it alive and then out of bounds. And substitution's coming. It's a turnover. Well, never mind. Still a Jags ball, it looks like. And now the quarter break happens. And if it was a Jags ball, they don't get a chance to capitalize on that one. 6-4, we'll see in the second. So Bobcats will have it to start the second. Beckham in and nearly stole it, but called, I think, for a reach-in foul. So here we go again. Beckham will keep guard on 22. And wheels around, keeping his dribble alive. Found a guy double teamed over there. And X on him and called for the reach. So inbound on this end of the court for the Bobcats. Scoring opportunity. Beckham leapt in the air but couldn't find the ball. And wheels around is 99. <clears throat> Beckham trying to strip it and comes up with a tie ball. He's got his second jump ball of the afternoon. So a scrappy brand of basketball from number 10 today. Zero X works his way to the right side and travels before he can get the shot off. Just couldn't park the brakes in time. 627 in the second. 6-4 Jags, 22, trying to blow by the defense and then called for the travel up and down. A full court change out for the Jags. Refs clearly missing the travel that happened before the foul, but there's Grace in the sport. So 22 finds the back of the rim, couldn't quite capitalize on it. And he had the bucket, so it was an and one situation. We're tied at six, John Michael dishes off and JP has one in. He's got his second goal of the game. It's a field goal percentage, pretty good for number three. 22 has proven to be the majority of this offense. A little turnaround fake and a little long on the shot, but a good looking athletic play. Cam has the board into Creek's hands. Left side with some tempo. Back to John Michael, three ball and missed off the mark to the right. Rebound offense, three back up and couldn't get this one to go. Hit the deck, Cam puts it back in and a nice look alive play there by the height, number five. Bobcats will inbound on their end, work back down left to right across the court. 22, directing signals, calling to his teammates. Creek comes out, pick him up. Nearly swiped it from the backside, and he's in a bit of a pickle. Bounce pass over the side and off of JP's feet. So they find 22 in a hurry. Ball typically goes to his hands. Working to the right side over the top. Three down to the post. Step back and too many steps that time. So John Michael worked the point. Four point advantage as it stands now for the Jags. Into the paint he goes. Shot is a little deep and boarded by the Bobcats who are called for an immediate travel. So under the basket, here we go for the Jags offense. 22 will slide out to try to cover Creek. X in the game and he lines the front of the line. Whistle blows. But the ball's still not in the hands. They're waiting for too many players for the Jags. And they're going to have to figure out the sub. And here comes AP. Ref was saying, I know I can count. There's too many out here. I'm not handing the ball until you get it right. Quick pass, jump shot. John Michael too deep. And then X has it. Baseline shot back up and rattles out. 49 stops the potential bleeding. Two and a half in the first, half that is. Screen set, 22, left side, little space, pulls up. Shot goes in and he's got the second bucket, or excuse me, he may have more than that. It's 10-8. Response opportunity here for the Jags. High pass over to Cam, found him. Cam throws a little elbows, 
drives in and not enough on it. Gets his own board. Trying to go up again and called for a foul on the ground. One of the late lessons so many of these youngsters learn is going right back up with the ball when they rebound it, almost automatically guaranteeing to draw a foul in traffic with hands up. Hot pass over to X, too hot to handle. Gets it somehow. Thinks about the shot, bounce pass over to John Michael, but the pass was on his foot, but somehow got, but then wrestled away by 22. He'll pivot around until the lane clears. A minute and a half to play in the first half. Still a two-point game. X staying with him. And then no shot is the travel call. Just over 60 seconds to play. Back over to JP. Jump shot. Teardrop, really a floater. And then threes who winds up with it. 101 to go. And so probably one more shot for the Jags in the half. You would think. Good pass over 24 is going to take it right then. And Drake in the game lost a shoe, but the shot goes in and we're tied at 10. 42 seconds to play. Jags, who have led all game or top been tied, but haven't trailed yet, gonna try to keep that streak here in the first half going. Zero down the baseline, shot goes up and foul. He'll go to the line as the clock pauses. It's the first trip at the line for X today and just found the front edge rolled off to the right. Second shot. Tricked me, everybody ran off the court, didn't know he was gonna shoot it alone, and he swished it. And he's got one of them, 11-10. One point lead, 11-10. Here as we start the second half, and X picks 22 up. We're going opposite directions now. So Bobcats shooting down here at this end. Spinning around, trying to find some lane. Open man, 24 makes a break. Too strong on the shot, X has the board. And then with some pace comes the Jags back down court, keeping that dribble alive down the baseline. Shot fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot a couple. So never mind, foul on the ground. So just an inbound opportunity here. X hot bounce pass, looking for Solis, I think, and it rolls out of bounds. So Beckham will inbound, and then looking for X, and then off his foot, unlucky. X will pick 22 up, Caruso sets the screen, works the left side, shot goes up high off the glass and makes it. He's got a couple like that today where the ball hits the upper echelon spot on the glass and kisses in. So Beckham will bring the ball down court. Crossover, into the paint, pump fake, and then a shot that finds the rim but wasn't pretty. X went back up with it, Beckham back up now, shot goes up and rolled out, unlucky. Just not enough on it, and the Bobcats have it. Braden comes out to pick up the point, and he'll shoot it. Bailey all the way over, couldn't get it to go, and then a couple too many steps for Caruso. And I was sleeping. The shot must have gone in for the Bobcats at some point. And a turnover there, all the way the other way. Beckham racing back down trying to stop the progress, and he does enough, and it's in the hands of the Jags. X will take it from here. I was gonna say, it's the first lead of the day for the Bobcats, 12-11. X pulls up and is blocked by 22, and then Caruso has it safely, dishes off to three, and he'll bring the ball down. So a good defensive play by the Bobcat defense. Hot pass over to 2-2. He's got his dribble, now he'll use it. Or try, trying to get around and a foul called on X. So Jags caught sleeping and the inbound. Oh, and they knock it out. They got to talk. So the Jags dodging a bullet there, not doing a giveaway bucket. And then intercepted there by JP as he's back in the game, holds it, give it to John Michael, and the Jags will see if they can't reclaim the lead. And then he'll give it to JP as he pulled up his dribble, probably prematurely. Three, driving, reverse layup, found the bottom of the rim, and it won't go. Coach Carpenter chastising the play, wanting the ball to be passed rather than any circus shots. 22 is going to work to his left, now right, now hot pass over to 24 and bobbled it for a minute. John Michael nearly capitalized on it, couldn't. Creek races over and a blocking foul called on Creek. 
Inbound to three, found a man, Cam blocks it, and how about the hustle from number nine? Five, excuse me. John Michael, right side, JP calling for it. Now he'll bounce it over to Cam in the corner. Cam, uncontested, shot goes up and it's too far. Bobcats have it. 3.04 to play in the third. And three getting some more point guard. Working intercepted by Cam, stepped in front of it, crosses 22 over. He's got JP in the lane, shot goes up. And how about the textbook play there? The defense, the heads up pass, and the finish on the shot. 13-12, lead back to the Jags. 22, picked up by John Michael. And a backcourt violation. Creek into the paint and a hold called on 22. And they can't afford to get him in foul trouble. So try number two. Creek with a little more pace this time. Off to John Michael, races in, back to JP. Left side, into the paint, kicks it back out. And now Creek looking for the drive, then takes the shot and nails it! Wow! It looked like he was off balance, but what do we know? It found the Nets fair and square. 15-12, three-point game. Three, uncontested, AP's gotta go get him. Shot goes up, but it's too high on the glass. Rebound there, but shot was nowhere near the rim, and the Jags have it. All the way with fast pace. He'll take another one, same as the first, but this time too deep. And then a tie-up. So 103 on a rolling clock here in the third. 15-12, Jags have it back. We've had a couple late lead changes, and Creek nearly stepped in front of that pass, got enough of it to knock it out. High pass, and X nearly there. Eight has it, and it's stolen by X, who was on the other side of him. And now he'll go all the way to the lane, high off the glass, and he's got it in. And the pass didn't count. Ten was not out of bounds. They'll give him another shot here rather than a turnover. This time it's good. And 24 nearly lost his own dribble out of bounds. Picks it up over to 10. X there again is, we'll have a second steal. And here he comes, right side this time. Too hot off the glass, nobody there to help. And 10's got it right back. So it pays to follow shots even if it's not your own. 24, nice little crossover move there. High dribble and the clock expires on him. 17-12, Jags as we go to the final chapter. Eight minutes to go in this one. And a fresh five in, Braden all the way and loses it. Unlucky, he had a lane that he had created for himself but just couldn't finish it. A five point game. Cam picks up three, gets around him, Beckham there, and then Cam's got the board. And Beckham has it, gonna have to hit the Jets, he will, all the way in, layup, and too strong, Braden couldn't get it, Beckham wound up with it, goes back up, couldn't have the angle right, and it's in the Bobcats' hands. So shots going up, but just not dropping for the Jags. And then a travel called there on three, he'll turn it over. Jags offense with another chance here. Braden, bounce pass back over to Beckham. Beckham, drive into the lane, will take the shot and find the back of the rim. And then Ryland's got it, head fake, and they're calling for the travel. It looks good for a minute. Still five point spread, 99. Working the point for, I think, the first time today. Handoff to three. Cam slides over and not sure what the infraction is. We're going to take a sub. You got me on that one. Perhaps they had allowed the sub before the play commenced, and that's why they were just stopping it. 22 races around the right side. Nobody picks him up all the way in, and he nails another one. And they're within three. They're gonna have to keep a hammer down here or the Bobcats will climb right back in. Braden back to Beckham. Beckham racing in, pulls up, takes the shot, misses, and Caruso has it. John Michael standing on court side, waiting to go in. Looking like it'll be a single man sub rather than a full five. Beckham trying to stay with Bailey. Grabbing for it, and Solis knocks it out of his hands. So John Michael in for Jacob as the Bobcats prepare to dish this one off. 22 on the moving target. Spins around on that pivot foot. Finds three, Braden still guarding. 
And then a little move there. Shot never made it, and Beckham's got the board. And here comes Beckham with a little tempo, trying to get past 22. Shot's blocked by him, and they turn it over. Beckham picking up three. Step back, Cam comes over. 22 has it behind the back. Good handles there. A little double team on 22. And then John Michael swipes at it from the back side. Somehow three ones up. Screen set on Beckham. Cam slides over. John Michael right into his hands. And he's gonna try to take it all the way. Looking for Beckham and travels. Shoot. And so a fresh four come in now as Beckham gets a nice high five hug from Coach Augie. Playing scrappy today. 22, working the right side. John Michael strips it and here he comes. He's got speed to go and then bump from the back side. They'll call the foul on him. And unlucky is the bucket finished on the other end. So inbound will come from Creek. And he can just race around to the goal. Forgot which way he was going and now he's gonna take a deep three. Not sure why that was the case. And uh, board happens. But then a no shot as John Michael's feet scoop. Here comes eight. Under three minutes to play. It's just a three point game. AP hands up on him. And he's got to get across co the court before the violation. And barely, I guess, does. And then a slap there from Creek. And he's got a foul. It's rattling this. Strip there almost from John Michael. And they are going to call backcourt on that as he had a foot on the other side. John Michael. Up in lane now, nobody picked him up. And then too strong, the adrenaline gets going on those shots. Cam reaches over and gets the board. Shot is behind the goal. And so never had a chance really with that angle. 1.48 to go, 17-14 Jags, and a timeout for the Jags. So the Bobcats threatening to mess up what is so far an undefeated season for the Jags. A minute and a half to go, clock is moving. Under two minutes, you can full on press if you want. Cam lets three kind of go by him. JP slides over to help. Down the baseline, Bailey looking to take aim. Ricocheted and Cam has it. And Bobcats will, well I thought they'd press. They're gonna retreat now a bit. John Michael trying to go all the way in. Finds a lane, finds the bottom of the backboard and then kicked by JP. Unlucky, it'll be a Bobcat basketball. And this time John Michael will do a little pressing. And then 24 hangs it up on his shoulder and nearly intercepted there, but they're gonna call the foul. Braden in the mix there. And then a travel right off the bat, turns it over and the Jags will have it on this end. 54 seconds to go, inbound to John Michael, over to JP. Couple dribbles in towards the basket, pulls back up, back out to AP. Kicks it back out to Creek, who will race to his left side, take the shot from the key and find the back of the rim. And then into the Bobcats arms, they're gonna have to work quick. 37 seconds, they need three points. And then a errant pass there into three's arms. Carpenter comes all the way in, down the lane he goes. And a good little touch pass, or a shot rather, but it won't go. And then knocked away by the Bobcats. Nope, by the Jags. John Michael races over to press. And three's called for the travel. So the traditional clock under two minutes stops it. 21 seconds to go. John Michael. Over to Creek, high dribble, almost lost it. Backed into the corner and he shoots short. Cam there to bail him out and retract. And five, works in his way into the lane, called for a travel and gives it away with five seconds to go. Even though they'd like to pretty the score, a win is a win and they could have just held the ball and an errant pass goes into Creek's hands and that's it. It ends 17-14, Jags survive and they go to 4-0. We'll see you next time.